All right, Pet Man Matt Marsh, Charlotte Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, we're very excited to talk to a talented young man from Olympic High School. He's been working hard a lot this offseason, which is, you know, kind of one of the reasons why I want to talk to him, among him being talented on the defensive side of football as well. And that is Olympic Trojans defensive end Dylan Smoot. We're going to bring him on right. All right, how are we doing today, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, like I said in your intro, one of the big reasons why I want to talk to you is, you know, all of the work that you've been putting in, you know, during this crazy COVID-19 pandemic. So, you know, two questions to start off. Number one, are you working with anyone and doing all these drills and things that you're doing? And number two, what has been the, the motivation for you to continue to work? like every day and posting, you know, all these workout videos that you're, you know, doing a great job with. Um, you know, first of first I'd like to give a shout out to um Coach Rodney with Grand Heart Sports. You know, he's been helping helping with me um on the linebacker side of things. So, you know, getting the coverages, you know, man turn, speed turn, you know, stuff like that, getting me in like seven on seven, you know, stuff like that. So uh yeah, you know, he's been one of the people I've been working out with, you know, for a long time, especially during this time during COVID. Um, another person I would say is uh, Coach Washington with K uh, KW Ignites. Um, you know, he's been helping me with D-line since I was in eighth grade, you know, we just haven't stopped, you know, especially during COVID. You know, we've been – haven't missed a beat at all. So I've been with him during this whole time. And uh, so, yeah, and another shout-out to uh, BBT Fitness, uh, Coach uh, – Coach Tyler and Coach CJ have been a great, a great uh, part, you know, during this COVID time. You know, they opened up the gym for me and a couple other dudes as well. So we've been able to, you know, when they're, when all the gyms were closed, we was able to get the work in four times a week, every week. And, you know, it's, it's just been a huge blessing for me. All right. Very good, Dylan. Very good. So let's take, let's take a step back a little bit and just share with us what made you want to play football in the first place? I just love the game. Um, my dad was a Georgia Bulldogs fan um, his whole life, so I grew up on them, and I watched them every Saturday and whenever I could. So, you know, I just loved it. I wanted to play it ever since then. And, you know, my mom was the one who actually signed me up. It wasn't him. So, um, yeah, I just started playing it, and I loved it. You know, I just never gave up on it. I, I continue to love the game, and, you know, hopefully it gets to the next level. Very good. So have you always played defense or did you start out playing a different position? I always, you know, they had me on the O-line and the D-line, so I did play both sides. But uh, once I grew into my body, you know, I just played strictly defense, you know, play that defensive mm -hmm. end spot. You know, that's that's what stuck with me, so I continue to play it. Very good. Very good, man. So, you know, most of us in the area know that you played at Mountain Creek and now you're at Olympic. Uh, what kind of went into your, you know, decision or process of leaving, you know, the Mavericks and coming and joining the Trojans? It was just the best. It was just the best fit for me as a player. I love their scheme. Um, the coaches were great. Shout out to Coach Watt, Coach uh, Thompson, and Coach Kern and Coach Hart. You know, they're great coaches, um, great leaders. You know, I love the players. Everybody's great. Everybody's hardworking. And, really getting after it. A lot of great players there and a lot of talent. So I, I just love the atmosphere over there. And yeah, that's why I chose it. Very good. Very good, man. Excellent. And, um, you know, Coach Thompson is one of our favorite guys to talk to. And I, you know, I, I can definitely agree with what you're saying there. Um, so in your opinion, playing defensive end, you know, you're really fast off the edge. Um, but just in your words, what is the best thing you do on the football field? my pass rush and my technique and really converting speed to power. You know, you know, I'm not the, you know, the biggest guy, not the six, three, six, four, six, five guy, but you know, I, I really, you know, pride myself on my technique and, you know, technique is probably one of the um, best things that you need to really go against a, a good old tackle. You know, there's a lot of old tackles out here in the country that are, you know, are great, great with their feet, great with their hands and, everything of that nature. So you, you got to have great technique when it comes to um, going against these, these tackles. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely agree with what you're saying there. I like, you know, the mention you said the speed, the power, I see that, you know, you're training and working on that in your videos. 
which is awesome. And uh, we talked to your defense coordinator, Coach Hart, you know, a couple of weeks ago on our live show, and he did shout you out as one of the players to look out for on that Trojan defense. So excited to see, you know, what you can do out there on the field once we get there. <laughs> yeah. Seems like it's been the longest offseason ever. Mm -hmm. Um, so given the fact that the, the way you described yourself right there as a pass rusher, um, would there be an NFL player you would compare your game to offhand? There's a lot, actually. Um, I really look at Marcus Golden, um, Elvis Dumerville, uh, Robert Mathis, just to name a few. I really look at those guys because, you know, I'm not just like I said, I'm not a 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", guy. Those guys are more like, you know, the six foot one, you know, six foot range. So, you know, I tend to look at guys that, you know, about the same size as me that I could look up to that I'll probably be the same size as, you know, in a couple of years once I grow a couple of inches, more inches and, you know, and whatnot. So I just look at, I'm, you know, I'm not looking at, you know, like Calais Campbell, who's like 6'8 and plays, and plays defensive end. You know, I can't really stack up against the guy who's 6'8 because I ain't, I ain't going to be that tall. So, you know, I look at, I look at guys like that. You know the Robert Mathis, Robert Mathis is, and you know the Elvis Dumervilles. People are my size, so yeah. It's very good. Those are some good names to reference. Just got a, a deep NFL knowledge right there, man. It's impressive. Appreciate sure. it. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Um, so so far, you know, you've had a you know a few you know years of playing football and everything. Uh, what's your best memory playing football so far? Man. Um, there's a lot. Um, I would say my best memory is about um, two years ago. Oh, no. My best memory is um, this past year, this past season, I had um, I had a scoop and score. That was my first touchdown. I took about, like, at least, like, 60 yards all the way to the crib. So that was my first touchdown ever playing football. So that was probably one of the greatest moments I've ever had playing football. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't think I had a, a memory like that. I was just an offensive lineman. So, you know, I, I, I live vicariously through you guys. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Good stuff. Uh, what are your goals for this upcoming season? Um, first will be uh, double digit sacks this year. Um, you know, just wreaking havoc on the, on, on the, um, when it comes to pass rush, sacking the quarterback, just being a, a playmaker, just, you know, just, you know, wreaking havoc out there and doing everything I could do to help my team win the game. Very good. Very good. Um, so I know you, you just got to Olympic um, and you, you only been there a little while, but what can you say is the one thing you like most about the teammates and the culture that's in place over there? I feel like the culture is just, it's awesome. I love what they're building, you know, they had a they had a good record last year, and just how hungry everybody is, you know, you know they got to the playoff last year, quite didn't make it, you know they got beat in the first round, but I love like their energy is great and they're so hungry and they're really ready to go and really striving to win that 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 uh, that ship um, this year. So I love how what they hunger is, they're so hungry to get after it this year, and you know I want to be part of that, you know I want I want to be part of that. Um, of that team and hopefully get all the way to the ship and hopefully win it. Very good, man. I like that. I like that. Very good. Um, so there's a lot of us, you know, linemen that have had dreams of playing different positions. Like I always thought I would be a good option quarterback back in the day, <laughs> even though that didn't happen, probably for good reason. <laughs> but if there was another position on the field that you would want to play, what would it be? And do you think you would be good at it? Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, I don't know. I just I love the defense, so I I would probably like I would probably say safety, just because you just sit back there, you hit stick. You know, look at somebody like Jamal Adams, Sean Taylor. Look at those guys, and you know they just come downhill and just and give it to you, bro. Like you know, so you know safety is safety is like a cool position to play, especially on Madden. You know, I use the safety all the time. Well, it's a great position to play. I think it's super cool. So maybe one day, but you know, probably not. But that would probably be my dream position. That's awesome. And you mentioned Madden. You know, I'm an avid Madden player. I have my own online league. Um, 
So are you any good at Madden? Do you just mess around? I mean, what's your skill level? Uh, <laughs> I want to say I'm the, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, you know, I, I dabble in, I dabble in Madden here, here and there. I want to say I'm the best at all, but I am, I'm pretty good, but I, I, I want to say I'm, I'm, I'm the best, but I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm glad you're humble because I get a lot of people that say they're good and then we find out they're trash later on. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, who do you like to thank for your uh, football success and people that have supported you uh, throughout your career? So, uh, first and foremost, God, man. You know, without Him, none of this would be able to happen. Um, you know, especially because of Him, I, you know, I have this great work ethic. You know, He, because of Him, I'm able to get up every day and grind and you know work out. You know, hit the books. You know, every day. So, you know, none of this, would be, none of this would be possible without Him. Um, second, my friends and family, man. You know, they been there ever since I was a kid, ever since I was a baby, you know, just being there for me, encouraging me to be the best I can be every day, especially my um, shout out to my dad, you know, my Uncle Chris and my Uncle Spice and my Uncle Mo, they've always been there, they've always been there for me, um, always giving me advice, you know, they played, they play football at a high level, so they look at me and tell me the do's and don'ts, you know, what not to do, and, you know, they gave me great, great advice, always keep 100 with me, um, so because of them, you know, they're they're big. Um, they're big and they're really big in my journey. You know, they're a main reason why I'm here, why I'm here today. And also my coaches as well. You know, everybody, you know, you know, I told you all the main ones, but, you know, everybody, anybody who I've worked out with, any coach, you know, I take I take them, you know, because of them. It's because of them that I'm where I'm at today and I become the player and the man that I am today. That's great, man. That's well said, man. That's that's really good. It's it's really good to have a lot of people in your corner to help push you to be, you know, as great as you you can be. So, um, I want to thank you for the time today. Um, you know, you're well spoken. Um, obviously you work hard, and um, I'm excited to see you out. You know, on the field in the spring, Lord's will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we get through this craziness. So, uh, once again, thank you, Dylan, man. I appreciate the time today. I mean, I thank you for having uh, giving me the opportunity, man. I really appreciate it.